Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy tech tip. In this one I'm going to show you how to bring in a Melodyne, uh, a Ceremony Melodyne plugin and use it inside of Ableton Live. And I've just got open a, an Ableton Live set here and it's got a recorded vocal on here so if you've got yourself a vocal track that you want to apply this pitching tool to I would suggest that you actually put the whole track, um, the whole vocal across and then um, apply this Melodyne patch afterwards. Or if you want to do it in parts, that's fine. It just gets a wee bit messy inside of Ableton Live. But I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. So if we have, for instance, one vocal here and it comes in at the 25th bar, let's play it back. Recording into Melodyne is really easy when... I have the Melodyne plugin on there, I'll just play it again. Recording into Melodyne is really easy when you're subscribed to sonicacademy.com. Okay, so you can hear there, that's just the, the normal voice. And um, we're just gonna go to our plugins and we're gonna drop in the Melodyne plugin. And it brings up like a Melodyne bridge here. It's almost like a sequencer, but you can't do very much in here. You can't click on certain areas and get it to play. You have to still control it using Ableton. So if we just go back, um, we're gonna be using this transfer button here. It transfers the audio into this plugin. So if we just go back prior to the vocal, and if we hit the uh, transfer button on Melodyne, and then hit play, it's gonna wait for some audio and then it'll start to record. Recording into Melodyne is really easy when you're subscribed to sonicacademy.com. Okay, and when it's finished, just hit the transfer button. And it will detect the pitch of all of your notes. And if you just play about with it, do your, your time stretching or your time pitching or your pitch pitching rather. And change your notes, whatever it is you need to do inside there. And once you play that back round, instead of actually playing this bit of audio, it jumps inside of Melodyne and plays that instead. Recording into Melodyne is really easy when you're subscribed to sonicacademy.com So you can hear there anything I change is now being affected. sonicacademy.com Inside of Melodyne. And a way to get this out of Melodyne instead of having it uh, going inside there and having to have this plugin running all the time. Um, you can simply add yourself another audio track. And if you take the audio from audio one or whatever uh, channel your vocal's on, and if you just hit the record arm, and record arm, or turn the record on and then hit play, it'll play the audio from audio track one out of the Melodyne and into audio track two. Recording into Melodyne is really easy when you're subscribed to sonicacademy.com And if you just hit stop And if we just mute track one and you can see here we've got the affected audio into from Melodyne. Melodyne is really easy when you're subscribed to sonicacademy.com Okay, and then you can just move that about or save it out to wherever you need it to go. Um, you could create yourself another one of these tracks. Um, I don't know, to put maybe a bit of harmony on it or something. And if you just put another audio track, we'll move that one down. And if we wanted to make another instance of this, go into our Melodyne. Um, and move a couple of the notes around. This isn't going to sound particularly good, but you get the idea uh, of how the actual program works. So if we now go to record arm on channel two again and take the audio from channel one, and we'll just mute this third one for now. We don't want them both playing. Recording into Melodyne is really easy when you're subscribed to sonicacademy.com. And then just hit stop. And now we've got two instances and we can just go to, we can actually just uh, delete this Melodyne plugin. Um, if we just mute track one, and then we've got our two recorded out Melodyne samples here. Um, just palm one hard left and hard right for now. I'll just move them off slightly. 
Recording into to Melody. Recording in. Bit too much. Recording into Melodyne is really easy when you subscribe to sonicacademy.com Okay, so I hope this helps you out with your understanding of getting uh, Melodyne working inside of Ableton. And I'll see you again in the next tutorial.